I just came from a six-year-old's birthday party, so excuse the face makeup, but um, Chris would understand. He loves art and artistry, so I'm just rolling with it. This is the Sand Ass Carl tote that I totally obsessed over and like online stocked forever and ever and ever um, until I finally was like, I can't take it anymore. So I think like around Christmas I bought it. Uh, Merry Christmas to me. Um, I have been wearing this bag. If you follow me on Instagram, you see like I took it to Lake Arrowhead. I took it to the snow. I took it. I've been obsessed with this bag. Um, it's been a really good like work bag and it's been a really good weekend bag. Like I stuffed it full to the brim with like my fleece and my kids stuff and all these things. Um, and I carry it like probably 98% of the time I carry it using the long handle. It's got this pad on there and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's like, I don't know. It feels like micro suede to me. It's the softest, most plushest handle and it, it just makes it a really comfortable carry. And then this is one of the few totes that I will genuinely rock like crossbody. A lot of times I feel like totes like, eh, I kind of can't do the crossbody thing. They're too big. But if I'm going to wear a crossbody, if it's heavier, I'm walking long distance, I'll swing it to the back. And it has this sort of like backpack feeling. Um, if it's if I don't have a lot in there, like if I just have like soft sort of malleable stuff, I'll just wear a regular crossbody. And because the leather is like breaking in, it molds to me. It's really nice. Um, a couple things before I go into this. When you first see this bag, you might be taken aback by its width this way um, because the bag is flat when it comes to you and so it has this impression that it's insanely wide. But when you fill it up, you'll see that it almost is like adopts this, like it goes from being super wide to super, like not super narrow, but significantly narrower. Um, and so if you read the description, that's what that means. Like it adopts a hobo shape the more you fill it. Um, and so I don't think it's quite as wide as people think. Um, but anyways, here's what. Thanks, Andy Cohen, for letting me borrow that. Um, not that he did. But so here's the outside. Uh, I adore this pocket here for my phone. I would say I keep my phone here all the time. I love like the distance that it is from the top. It feels like when I'm carrying the bag, it's just really natural and easy for me to reach out, reach in and pull my phone out. Um, it does have, of course, like a YKK zipper with a leather tab here, but I don't, I would say almost never do I zip it. Um, just because it's pretty snug from the design of it, so I don't feel like my phone could fall out or somebody could easily reach in there, but it's nice to have the option to zip. Um, let's turn it around this way. There are no pockets on the side, and you can see like there's a crease here. The bag's already starting to sort of break in and mold to me um, because I carry it all the time. So I would say at this point, I've been carrying it pretty steadily for like, what, two months, something like that. So it's really, it's really starting to like, um, you know, that's the best part of the leather when the bag starts to like work with you and become a little, um, I mean, a little more yours. Here's the back side, so there's no pockets. Um, there are obviously the grab handles, which are a nice option, right? Sometimes if you're carrying something for a long time and it's heavy, it's nice to change it up, do an arm carry, do a hand carry. It's a little too short to do a shoulder carry, I think, um, but for some people that might work. Um, here is the other side, no pockets. Um, this, I just wanted to tell you that it affixes on the front the D-ring and then on the back. So it's kind of nice to have that offset and I think it makes it for a more comfortable carry for crossbody than if they were done on the dead centers. Let me take this off. Um, this is the clasp that he has on there, which I really like. Uh, he uses, this is the real deal, he uses brass. So when you get a bag like this, if your primary thing is I want a lightweight bag, this is not the bag for you. This is the bag for someone that's like, I want a bag for now until forever that I can hand down to my kiddos. Um, and I'm willing to trade off lightweight for quality. This is your bag. Um, one other note, I, mean, I just took it off so I could kind of demo more easily. But I reached out to Chris before I bought it and I said like, I'm 5'2", I don't want your standard inch, standard measurement. Um, strap so he said I'm gonna make you one that I generally do for uh, my 
my more petite clients. And so I thought that was really nice. Um, so you can get a bag this quality and you can customize things about it. So I had him make the strap is much shorter and then he also punched extra holes in. Um, and so now it fits, it fits just perfect. Uh, there is tail here. See, like it extends past the clasp. And I just take that tail and I pass it through here. Uh, and that works just fine for me. You could also go down there and say like, hey, can you cut the tail off? But it doesn't bother me. Um, here's this. This is, I just love this closure. I think it's really nice. It's a push button type closure. Uh, this is the real deal. If you could feel this bag, you would understand. Unquestionably, this is solid brass, not plated. This is so nice, this little pull tab. Um, it makes it easier to pull it out and in. Um, and that's what this bag is. It's just every single thing has been thoughtfully redesigned and redesigned until we get to perfection, which is where this bag is. Um, here it is, packed down on a typical work day. Um, laptop, 9 by 13. I'm going to do this so you can see, like, I still have some room there. Um, and I'll empty the bag and see if I could put my laptop in the other way, but I'm not sure. I've taken to carrying these, like, nine and a half by six inch notebooks. I don't know. I just like it. I prefer that over the eight and a half by 11. I feel like, I don't know, it just works well for me from an organization standpoint and how I like to do my to do's for the day. Um, I have my reading glasses. I have my sunglasses. I have uh, the travel charger, which is significantly smaller than the full deal charger. I have these, these pine, I, went, I was like really sick this flu season, uh, and I had so many of the old school cough drops that like it started, like they were painful, so I got these soft cough drops. I don't know if they do anything, but mentally, they help. Um, and then this thing, which is Love 41 um, pouch for organization that I've really taken to, and it, I just put all these like weird odds and ends in there, and um, it helps keep the inside of my bag from turning into total chaos. Um, and then on the inside, he has a single zippered pocket. Uh, and I have all kinds of crazy in that single zippered pocket. And I very rarely close it. I have uh, my cordless mouse in there. And this is legitimately how I carry this bag. You'll see because it's not that clean. I have two pens because I swear I always leave the house with like four pens. And I, I return back home with two. I'm lucky. Um, cough drops. Um, oh, this gift certificate that I got that I'll probably never use. And then, um, what else is in here? Oh, NyQuil. Because just in case. All that went into this zippered pocket here that, um, is along the back of the bag. Um, and it's really nice to have. It has the standard YKK zipper on the front of this hanging pouch. And maybe it's easier for you if I do this. On the front of this hanging pouch, she's got this. Um, I think it's too small for my phone. Let me see. I never put my phone in there. Oh, maybe I should start putting my phone in there. I never do. But I think it's, uh, in, oops. I think its intended purpose was um, business cards. So maybe I'll start being an adult and putting my business cards in there. Um, but anyways, let me do this. So now the bag's totally empty. They've got their signature plaid in there. Um, and let me show you what I mean about the shape of this bag. Let me flatten it out. I don't know if it'll flatten anymore because I've been using it like a lot. But anyways, the bag comes to you like this, right? Like quite wide. When you turn it to the side, it's flattened out. Like it looks like very little depth, right? But the reality is that when you carry the bag, the width of the bag kind of sh Whoops, careful, that really is heavy brass. I'm not gonna reshoot this. The width of the bag kind of shrinks to almost be like the width of this front panel. Um, and you can see like, because I put my laptop in there and because where the um, D-rings are positioned, the bag sort of goes like this. Um, and I told you earlier, I'd try to put my laptop in this way just for, yeah, you actually could do it like that if you wanted to. And it would make the bag wider but narrower. Uh, I prefer this. I prefer to put it in vertically because I put so much stuff in there and I like to be able to see what's in there. 
Um, and so that's typically how I carry it, but you could do either. Um, I have a really rare category that's called perfection if you watch my videos because I always have things that I want to see done differently or ways that I think that you can improve the bag. Um, but there's no version 2.0. This bag, the Carl Tote, um, very comfortable, capacity is awesome, style is awesome, built to last, guaranteed for life, no version 2.0. Um, I love working with Chris Pack. I love Sandass, his mission, the way he does business. He's committed to American made, committed to local. Um, and so we've been working together for a while now. If you punch in my name, just my first name, uh, S-O-N-I-A, you'll get 25% off any purchase. Um, so make good use of that. Give him a shot. Um, that's it. This is the Sandass for all tote. Thank you so much for watching.